We're a few days out, but what sort of shape is Steve Clark's squad in for this game? Yeah, just the early stages of the week, of course, meeting up, checking who's fit and who isn't. What this Nations League group has taught Scotland so far, I guess, is that it's tough at the top. Nations League Group A, and it has been very difficult for Steve Clark's side to get results. A bit of an upturn, though. I think that draw against Portugal last time has breathed a new sense of optimism into the group. A bit of belief, yes, it's still one win in 16, but that draw against Cristiano Ronaldo and co has everyone feeling a bit better about themselves. Let's take a look at the early stages of training here at Lesser Handen this morning. A couple of changes to note from the squad out. Drops Shea Adams and Lewis Morgan and in comes Stuart Armstrong. No stranger to the Scotland setup, of course, but I'm sure that will go down as a bit of a blow. Shea Adams, part of a striking department, which you would probably say is slightly thin on the ground when it comes to Steve Clark's options. Uh, and Shea Adams having moved over to Torino and started very well there. Dropping out the squad will be a blow, but as we said, Stuart Armstrong coming in, he's been part of many squads before. Steve Clark knows what he can get from him after his move to the MLS and he is uh, back out here in Glasgow this morning going about his paces with the rest of his teammates that leave striking options such as Lawrence Shankland who's struggling for goals at Hearts, Tommy Conway of Middlesbrough is in there and perhaps Lyndon Dykes, Birmingham City's Lyndon Dykes tends to be the man who leads the line when Shea Adams isn't there. So that's the main change to the squad this morning. Yeah, but Talk to us about Billy Gilmore and Scott McTominay. They're excelling over in Serie A, aren't they, with Napoli? Can we expect them to feature? Well, they're not here yet, unfortunately. I believe they're due to meet up with the squad a little bit later on, given their Sunday night exertions in Serie A. But you're absolutely right. They're flying over there, particularly Scott McTominay scoring goals, scored against away to Inter Milan, didn't he, on Sunday evening. Napoli are top of the league. Both are featuring heavily. So what's not to like? I think for Scotland fans, a reason to be particularly optimistic is Scott McTominay's a guy that contributed incredibly, even when he wasn't playing first-team football. Maybe he dropped out of the Manchester United team. Maybe he was getting criticism for performances. But even then, he turned up time and time again. You'll remember the double against Spain, other big goals in the campaign leading into the Euros. Yes, it wasn't a particularly memorable Euros, but he still scored when Scotland got there as well. So... He's been a massive player for Scotland anyway, and now fans are wondering if he and Billy Gilmore can raise their level even further uh, now that they're flying so high at the top of Serie A with Napoli. So those two will join up. You would absolutely expect them to feature heavily. And in that midfield area, the good news as well is that John McGinn is back in. They are such an important member of Steve Clark's squad, the Aston Villa skipper. He missed the previous international, so good to see him back. And even watching the players go about their paces today, you can hear him sometimes before you see him you realise how big a character he is, how important he is in this group as well. So I'm sure Steve Clark, the manager, absolutely delighted to have the Aston Villa man back. It's been a tough campaign due to, firstly, the level of opposition, and then secondly, the number of injuries. Really, really tough run of injuries. And I know I mentioned those two that have dropped out this morning, but things starting to ease slightly. You see John McGinn back, you see some defensive options like Scott McKenna and Jack Hendry back there as well. So Steve Clark uh, will be feeling a bit better about things. We're going to hear from John Carver, I believe, one of his coaching staff, and Craig Gordon, one of the goalkeepers. We'll hear from them later on as we continue to build up to that big game on Friday here against Croatia.